In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring you a complete guide on how you get the amazing Chu Bar Spear weapon. Now this weapon is tied behind a quest, a hidden quest, which I know some players will definitely miss. And well, that's what I'm here for. I have you covered. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong. And it's as simple as this. To enter this giveaway, simply like this video, drop a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of my Black Myth Wukong videos. And the more I see you active, the more of a chance you have of winning. And I will announce that winner on Sunday evening's video, which today being the 24th, that will be tomorrow evening's video. So good luck everybody. Okay, so this secret weapon is actually amazing. I personally built the other weight in regards to my stance early on, and I went with that pillar stance, leveling this up. But because of this weapon alone, I'm going to actually start leveling up my thrust too, because this thing is actually amazing. And it's by far the best weapon in regards to power I've come across up to that chapter 4, which you can actually craft. And you know what? It's actually not hard at all to get. So let's get into it, people. So upon you reaching chapter 3, you will eventually come to the Pagoda Realm. You can't miss it, you have to come here. And well, within the lower Pagoda Realm floor, you will notice there are cages, there are cells that are locked up and they're locked behind what looks to be like a purpley blue spell. Within the first cell you will see, there is an NPC whose weapon this is. He gives you this weapon upon you finishing his quest. But we first need to actually unlock his cell to speak to him. So how this is done is quite simple. As you make your way up this place, this pagoda realm, the next shrine you'll come to is the upper pagoda shrine and from this point guys there's a drop down where you'll find this boss. A boss who upon you defeating him and collecting the first of four important key items within his quest line opens up this cell for you to speak to that NPC. So this boss is called the Captain Lotus Vision and I won't lie, he's a bit of a pain in the ass. I mean, he doesn't hit hard really. In fact, he himself is just like a floating statue. It's the projectiles he fires out which are super annoying. I mean, they are easily dodgeable, but I mean, he shoots so many at certain times. It's just annoying. There's a phase where he lights up the floor too with lasers where you have to be jumping backwards and forwards. Your best bet here guys is to jump on one of the rocks in the corner of the room and to avoid all these attacks until this phase is done. But yes, once you defeat this dude and upon you collecting his spirit, this is what we need here. It's the spirit of the Captain Lotus Vision. Upon you doing this, it unlocks that cell. So you need to head back down to the lower pagoda shrine and then head back into the cell and speak with this What he basically does is ask you to free the other three spirit captains uh, and that's the quest so we need to find three more now two come from boss fights and one you simply pick up from a corpse okay so the second captain we need to take out is found at the very top of the pagoda realm so make your way up guys it's straightforward to be honest it's like a linear one-way path when you get to the very top you'll come to the shrine of the mani wheel uh, and just further on guys is this boss fight Now talking about pains in the ass, a man oh man this dude was doing my head in. The thing is, it's actually really slow but super tanky. It's just annoying how long the boss fight takes only for him to do some random attack to kill you when he's below a quarter health. Now how I beat him was by just simply trying to stay behind him uh, constantly and well as soon as I saw electric I backed off as I knew a move was coming for me. 
He also does an attack where he drops like a debuff on you. If you can avoid this by staying behind him, it's great because for me, it was lowering my health drastically. And also, it seems as though my dodges were using more, seemingly significantly more stamina. So yeah, avoid this if you can. If you ain't the hardest boss in the world, you'll take him out eventually, guys. So just stick to it. So once you do take him out, claim that spirit. This is the spirit of the Captain Wise voice. From here guys, you don't actually have to head back down to that dude in the cell. Here you can just push on to collect the two other spirits. Now what I will say is, uh, between this spirit and the third spirit, is a whole heap of progression. I was kind of rushing through it, and it still took me about two hours. It is though still a part of chapter three, so don't stress about that. Okay, so the shrine you now need to work towards and look out for is the Longevity Road Shrine. This is within the Valley of Ecstasy, and it is an area you really can't miss. And I believe the shrine too. So yeah, progress on until you get to this point. So once you're at this shrine, people follow the path I take on the screen now to collect that third spirit from that corpse. No fighting here at all. This is the Spirit of the Void Illusion. So once you grab this guys, now you want to make your way back to that shrine and now rest. Okay, so from this shrine, of the Shrine of Longevity Road. Now guys, you need to follow the path I take on screen. Now up to the last captain who we have to defeat. Now don't stress though people. For me, he was easily the easiest of three captain bosses you have to take on to get this weapon. So he's called the Captain Kalper Wave and he's also very very slow and his attacks, well for me anyway, weren't hitting very hard. The only annoying thing about this dude was when he was trying to teabag you, you know there's a lot of enemies in this area where they fly up into the air and try and land on your face. Super super annoying, but I killed him first try, didn't have to reset at a shrine or anything like that, I took him out first try. Okay, so once you do take him out, guys, claim the spirit of Captain Kelper Wave. From here, guys, if it's your first time visiting this area, push on slightly to unlock the next shrine. You may as well, just to get back here quickly. Uh, but then, guys, you want to head back to the very first shrine of the Lower Pagoda Shrine. This is within the Pagoda Realm. Here, guys, you want to head back to that cell and talk to this NPC. Now, upon you doing this, guys, you get this weapon. Well, you get the major part for it so you can craft it at a shrine. But yes, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. It is one of the best weapons I've used in the game so far. Uh, I'm actually progressing into chapter 4 now. I've got a couple of weapons I won't be able to craft yet. Uh, but this is definitely up there with some of the best in the game for sure. Especially early to mid game. So yes guys, this is how you get this amazing spear called the Tube Base Spear. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.